I was at a party at Diddy Crib in, in LA. This was uh this was this was the beginning of, of 2020. You know what I mean? And, uh Diddy had he had put everybody else out the crib, like the, the influx of people he had put them out. But he had he had uh he had took a, a liking to me in particular around the time, man. It was really, you know what I mean, like putting his arm around me. So he had put majority of the people out, but he allowed me to stay in there. Mm -hmm. Me and you know, maybe about maybe about 15 others, you know. Right. Jay-Z and Beyonce being, you know, two of the other 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 15 people in the room. So that that'll just put it into perspective of the type of company I was in. Right. <laughs> So, you know how Diddy is rumored to be the literal kingpin of the hip-hop industry? There's rumors flying around that he's got dirt on literally everyone in the industry, especially the ones that have been at one of his infamous freak-offs. Hell, apparently he's even got some involvement in the passing of the one and only Tupac, according to some sources. But there's one person in particular that hasn't been sitting right with Diddy lately, and that is the baby, be himself. He recently went on the Club Shay Shay podcast revealing just a little too much about Puffy and his shady dealings. After all, the baby's been to numerous Diddy parties, so if anyone really knows what goes on behind closed doors, it would be him. And we all know Diddy has a special liking for the baby, calling him the hottest rapper of the decade. The rapper even revealed some wild details about Diddy's inner circle, people like Jay-Z, Beyonce, T.D. Jakes, and other high-tier names that are on that list. And apparently, there's some real shady stuff that goes on in Puff Manor. So, Diddy, the man with a plan, and Jay-Z, the OG of rap turned mogul extraordinaire with some shady history. These two have been tight for years, but what happens when egos clash and business interests collide? It's like watching a high stakes chess match played out on the stage of the music industry. But Jay-Z isn't the only shady man Puff's associated too. There's also T.D. Jakes, the preacher man who's not just about saving souls but also offering some horrible guidance to the big shots like Diddy. Yeah, you heard that right. But let's not forget about the personal side of things. We've got Cassie, Diddy's former flame, still lingering in the picture with some serious proof and allegations. Love and loyalty in the world of fame? Now that's a whole other story waiting to unfold. Now it looks like the baby is stirring up some serious drama in Diddy's inner circle and Puffy is not happy about it. The baby, the controversial rapper known for his outspoken nature, has been making waves with some eyebrow-raising comments about Diddy and his associates. In a series of social media posts and interviews, the baby has been dropping hints about the inner workings of Diddy's world, shining a spotlight on some of the industry's biggest names, including Jay-Z, T.D. Jakes, and others. Now, we all know Puffy likes to keep things tight-knit in his circle, so you can bet he's not too thrilled about the baby airing out their dirty laundry for all to see. After all, when you're rubbing elbows with heavyweights like Jay-Z and T.D. Jakes, you want to keep things on the down low, right? All right, let's talk real talk. You've probably heard about the recent bombshells dropping on Diddy's doorstep. It's the kind of stuff that leaves you reeling, questioning what you thought you knew. But here's the kicker. Diddy's not flying solo in all this mess. No, sir. He's got a whole entourage of enablers and co-conspirators right there in his inner circle. I'm talking harassment, physical abuse, and yeah, even the unspeakable. And guess what? Diddy's not the lone wolf in this pack. Nah, he's got company. Lots of it. Let's talk about Sean Carter, or as you might know him, Jay-Z. Now, in the glossy pages of the media, Jay-Z's the epitome of the perfect husband to Beyonce, a musical genius and a stand-up guy. Right? Wrong? Dead wrong. See, Jay's got more layers than an onion. And while Diddy's been tripping over his own two feet and getting exposed left and right, Jay's been playing it slick with that public image of his. But peel back those layers and you'll start seeing a different picture. One where lines blur between fame, power, and a whole lot of shady business. It's like a twisted game of chess, and these guys are the kings moving, the pieces behind the scenes. One of the biggest examples of his shady dealings can be seen in Solange's feelings for him. For years, the rumor mill churned out whispers about Solange Knowles not exactly being Jay-Z's biggest fan. Day after day, 
the streets buzzed with speculation, suggesting that she wasn't exactly thrilled about her sister Beyonce's relationship and marriage to Jay-Z. The speculation only fueled curiosity, leaving everyone wondering what exactly she had against her billionaire brother-in-law. Then came the bombshell allegations against Jay-Z, claiming he was using drugs to manipulate Beyonce. Suddenly Solange's seemingly icy view of him didn't seem all that surprising. It was as if pieces of a puzzle were finally falling into place, adding up with all the weird things people had been saying about their marriage. Sure, on the surface, Jay-Z and Beyonce were considered a Hollywood power couple, with a combined fortune of nearly $2 billion, a lavish home, and the admiration of their peers. But scratch beneath the surface, and you'll find a relationship far from perfect laden with secrets and complexities. Their journey as a couple has been a roller coaster ride filled with concern among fans. From the very beginning, their relationship faced scrutiny, especially due to its unconventional aspects. Take for instance their first meeting when Beyonce was just a teenager and Jay-Z was a grown man in his 30s. Looking back on those early days, Beyonce spilled the beans in an interview, saying, I was 18 when we first met, 19 when we started dating. There was no rush, no one expected me to run off and get married. They officially started dating when Beyonce was 19 and Jay-Z was 31, a substantial age gap that had fans buzzing, with some even tossing around speculations of Beyonce being groomed by Jay-Z. Beyonce found herself not just 12 years younger than Jay-Z, but also navigating the complexities of a relationship with a significant level of inexperience. This added an extra layer of complexity to their dynamic, fueling speculation about the nature of their marriage as time went on. As Beyonce matured and gained more life experience, the conversation surrounding their relationship shifted. People began to wonder whether Beyonce felt constrained in her marriage, particularly now that she was older and more seasoned than she was at 19. And it turns out, those whispers weren't just idle gossip. Insiders spilled the tea, revealing that Beyonce wasn't just feeling a bit hemmed in, she was genuinely feeling trapped. According to Grapevine Chatter, Jay-Z held the reins tight, controlling every single aspect of their lives. Now it seems like more and more people are stepping up to spill the tea. And let me tell you, it's piping hot. One guy who's been making waves lately is claiming to be Beyonce's former bodyguard. Now, I know what you're thinking. Just another person looking for their 15 minutes of fame, right? Well, not so fast. This dude had some serious insider info to dish out about the inner workings of Beyonce and Jay-Z's relationship. He didn't hold back diving right into the nitty-gritty and confirming what many had suspected all along, that their marriage was less about love and more about business. Yep, you heard that right. It seems like behind all the glitz and glamour, there was a whole lot of wheeling and dealing going on. Now, I don't know about you, but this revelation had me on the edge of my seat. It's like peeling back the layers of a Hollywood romance and finding out it's not all sunshine and rainbows. So remember, your relationship was a business relationship financial to get to the top to be, be to become billionaires there's no love there according to the bodyguard turned gossip guru there's more to this marriage than meets the eye he dropped a bombshell claiming that beyonce isn't just sticking by jay-z because she's head over heels in love nope it's far from a fairy tale romance instead it seems like jay-z's got her on a tight leash calling all the shots and leaving Beyonce with little to no room to choose otherwise. See, hardly nobody knows, but I'll say it, man. Yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. And Beyonce's not the only woman who he's managed to keep under his thumb. There's also Teaira Mari. Mari is a talented singer signed by none other than Jay-Z himself. At the tender age of 16, the world was at her feet, her dreams within reach, but little did she know, Jay-Z's involvement in her life would bring more than just fame and fortune. It would come with a heavy price. Enter Jaguar Wright, a name that's been making waves lately with some shocking claims about her time under Jay-Z's wing. According to her, Jay-Z not only derailed her music career, but left her traumatized by his questionable business moves and personal entanglements. Um, I regret some of the things that I've done on there, yeah. Some of the situations that I had to go, go through, some of the people that I trusted. Yeah, absolutely. Jaguar paints a grim picture of her time in Jay-Z's orbit, alleging that he was not just a music mogul, but a manipulative force to be reckoned with. One particularly harrowing aspect of Jaguar's story involves another woman, Tarara. 
who was allegedly involved with Jay-Z at the same time he was dating Beyonce. For Jaguar, it was a tumultuous relationship marked by emotional abuse and control. She recalls, at the age of 17, I had a boyfriend and he was just poison. This guy, he did me dirty. He was emotionally bad and controlling. But here's where it gets even more sinister. Jaguar suggests that Jay-Z's modus operandi is all about control over his label, his artists, and even his personal relationship. And when Tarara dared to break free from his grasp, she found herself swiftly dropped from his label. According to Jaguar, Jay-Z wasn't just a music mogul, he was a master manipulator, pulling the strings behind the scenes. And at the center of it all was Tarara, a young singer caught in Jay-Z's orbit. As Jaguar tells it, Jay-Z was messing around with Tarara while he was dating Beyonce, creating a rocky situation for the young singer. In her own words, Tarara described her boyfriend at the time as toxic and controlling, a classic Jay-Z move, if there ever was one. But here's where it gets even more twisted. While Tarara didn't mention any names, her description of her ex-boyfriend lines up perfectly with the Jay-Z we know, a man who's all about control, especially when it comes to his label and his artists. Things seemed all right between Tarara and Jay-Z while she played by his rules, but when she dared to break away from his grasp, suddenly she found herself dropped from the label. Her dreams shattered in an instant, and while Tarara kept quiet about the ordeal, she couldn't shake the feeling of betrayal and abandonment. I didn't want to tell anybody because I didn't want to deal with the questioning and all of that, so I just kept it to myself. Despite her disappointment, Tarara tried to reach out to Jay-Z, hoping for some kind of explanation or closure. But as she soon found out, her attempts fell on deaf ears, leaving her feeling like she didn't even exist in Jay-Z's world anymore. In a rare and revealing interview, Tarara opened up about her experience, acknowledging that Jay-Z's main focus was always on his own success. She realized that her time under his wing was just a learning experience, a painful one, but one that ultimately helped her grow and mature. And then there's the song No Daddy, Tarara's way of expressing her frustration and exhaustion with being used and mistreated. And even after he ditched her, poor girl had to put up a facade so that she doesn't get blacklisted from the industry. A mentor relationship with Jay-Z during that time? Yeah, he was definitely a mentor. He was like a father figure. He was a great guy. And do you see a pattern here? I mean, Puff does the exact same shit to the girls in his life. In her lawsuit against Diddy, echoed some chillingly similar sentiments to what Tarara and Jaguar had to say. She painted a picture of a man wielding power like a weapon, using his position to manipulate and control those around him. Just like Jay-Z, Diddy allegedly positioned himself as a father figure to Cassie, capitalizing on their significant age gap and power imbalance. But the similarities don't end there. Cassie's lawsuit alleges that when she turned 21, Diddy forced himself on her. It's a gut-wrenching accusation that mirrors what Tarara went through albeit at an even younger age. If there's any truth to these claims, it catapults Jay-Z into the category of criminals. And if evidence surfaces in court, well, let's just say his days of freedom might be numbered, much like Diddy's. Speaking of Diddy, it seems like he didn't take too kindly to Cassie's accusations. According to reports, he wasted no time in trying to silence her, making threats and attempting to discredit her. But when Cassie refused to be his puppet, he dropped her like a hot potato just as quickly as he had signed her, and to ensure she never exposed the truth about their relationship, he blacklisted her, effectively halting her career in its tracks. As these stories resurface, people's opinions about Jaguar are shifting. Many are now acknowledging that she may have been telling the truth all along. It's a sobering realization that the music industry's shiny facade hides a darker reality, where powerful men like Jay-Z and Diddy hold sway over the lives of those around them. Saw Jay-Z. And he was working with R. Kelly and they were making so many records together. You know, they made all of those records together. They both f***ed Aaliyah. They shared so much in common. You know? And then there's the curious case of Rihanna. Just as Jay-Z was cutting ties with Jaguar, he was busy grooming a new talent, Rihanna. But this wasn't just business as usual. Rumors have swirled for years about the nature of their relationship with some insisting that they had an affair. Meanwhile, reports surfaced that Beyonce and Jay-Z were living separate lives with their own bedrooms on opposite ends of a hallway. It's a tangled web of power, manipulation, and secrets, and we've only scratched the surface. As the truth slowly comes to light, it's becoming clear that behind the glitz and glamour lies a world of pain and exploitation. And what's worse, 
is that the bodyguard isn't the only person to come up and speak out about the rapper. Jaguar Wright has also been on a mission to expose him and Puff and their dealings together. And we become more aware of certain things. They open up. But the thing is, it was normalized. According to Jaguar, there's more to Jay-Z's story than just his alleged manipulation of women and control over his artists. She believes there's a sinister connection between the death of Aaliyah and Jay-Z. And Beyonce's solo career was struggling. Damn on your horn now, that fucking bullshit record. Mm. From the Austin Powers, shit, some of the worst shit ever. They were having a hard time taking her solo. For those unfamiliar, Aaliyah was a rising R&B star whose life was tragically cut short in a plane crash in 2001. Jaguar's theory suggests that Jay-Z may have had some involvement in Aaliyah's untimely demise, although she hasn't provided concrete evidence to support this claim. And Aaliyah's gone, and, you know. You have to start asking yourself questions after being in this business for this long. If you're a halfway intelligent person, when do you start questioning how lucky some mother keep getting? Right. Yeah. Is it really a conspiracy if the same person keeps benefiting off the same kind of tragedy over and over and over again? And if you thought he's, he's the only shady one in Puff's inner circle, you've got another thing coming. I mean... Don't you know about all the shit that went down with T.D. Jakes? Well, it seems like there's a whole lot more going on in Diddy's inner circle than just rubbing elbows with A-listers. From male strippers at his parties to the close bond with Pastor T.D. Jakes, things are starting to sound more like a scandalous soap opera than your average Hollywood tale. Let's start with the male strippers because why not? It turns out that Diddy's parties are the place to be for some quality time with these gentlemen. Now that's not something you'd expect to hear about a pastor, right? But with T.D. Jakes, nothing seems to be off limits even before the recent controversies people were raising eyebrows at his unorthodox conduct his penchant for rubbing shoulders with celebrities and his particularly close bond with diddy their friendship goes way back to the days of diddy's relationship with kim porter with pastor jakes even officiating at kim's funeral but here's where things start to get really juicy rumors of a secret society involving diddy and the pastor started gaining traction and when a photo from ti's birthday party went viral speculation about an alleged initiation ritual was at an all-time high. Mace, a former collaborator with Diddy, made headlines by exposing what he claimed was the real nature of the relationship between Diddy and T.D. Jakes. He shed light on rituals involving nudity and cryptically referred to as gay rituals. These shocking allegations ignited debates about the nature of their connection, with fans expressing disbelief that figures expected to uphold moral standards were involved in such controversial gatherings. There were other instances of him getting exposed too. She even went on about him being gay and being present at Puff's parties. And with the backing of this hideous inner circle, Puff has been doing a lot of damage. Just recently, another lawsuit came out. It seems like the storm surrounding Sean Diddy Combs just keeps on brewing, with yet another woman coming forward with serious allegations against the music mogul. According to a lawsuit filed in November in New York Supreme Court, and amended on March 12th. Diddy, along with R&B singer Aaron Hall, are being accused of S.A. by a woman. The alleged assault took place back in 1990 or 1991, following an event at the offices of MCA Records. It's a disturbing revelation that has sent shockwaves through the music industry and beyond. The timing of the lawsuit is particularly significant, as it was filed just one day before the expiration of the New York Adult Survivors Act. This act allows adult essay survivors one year to sue, regardless of when the original statute of limitations expired. And with this legal avenue now open, it seems like this woman is determined to seek justice for the trauma she allegedly endured all those years ago. As the lawsuit unfolds, it's sure to shed more light on the events of that fateful night and potentially hold those responsible to account. The details emerging from Liza Gardner's lawsuit paint a disturbing picture of the events that transpired that night. According to the complaint, she and her friend encountered Sean Diddy, Combs, and Aaron Hall at MCA Records offices during an event hosted by the label. Hall, known for his involvement in the R&B group Guy, and Combs allegedly exhibited flirtatious and handsy behavior toward Gardner and her friend throughout the evening, even offering them drinks. 
As the night wore on, Combs and Hall extended an invitation to Gardner and her friend to continue the festivities at Hall's apartment. Once there, the suit alleges that Gardner was coerced into having sex with Combs. The aftermath left Gardner in a state of shock and trauma, highlighting the serious nature of the alleged assault. And as if all of that wasn't enough, we also have the Meek Mills drama to take into consideration. For those of you who don't know what went down, here's the gist of it. In Rodney Jones' lawsuit against Diddy, there are some rather spicy references that seem to point directly at Meek, although his name isn't explicitly mentioned. Instead, there's a footnote that describes a redacted name as a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. And we all know who fits that description, right? Now hold on because it gets even juicier. Rodney alleges that Diddy once confided in him, claiming he'd slept with some big-time male celebs in the music biz, including Meek. Yep, you heard that right. As you can imagine, the internet wasted no time in churning out memes and jokes galore after these allegations surfaced. It's like the plot of a real-life courtroom drama unfolding before our very eyes with twists and turns that no one saw coming. So, what do you think? Do you think there are more people in his disgusting circle? If yes, who do you think could be in on it with him? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss out on any new videos. And until then, fam, keep it real.